Hi, this is Scarlett. It is Friday the 31st of July 2020 uh, in Sydney, Australia. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've last done my video blog. Uh, we've had a rough few weeks with um, COVID, but in a different kind of way. Um, Jeff's mum, uh, my mother-in-law and Ada's uh, Beamer, um, have She's been fighting cancer for quite a while, but uh, she's recently chosen to be opt for at-home hospice care. So that's in Portland, Oregon, in the United States. So um, we have been struggling to figure out what to do uh, and deal with all the anxieties around there about traveling. And um, we started, well, <clears throat> initially we Booked, had booked out, had our flights booked to go and accommodation booked and uh, then uh, the compassionate visas hadn't come through by the morning, the day before we flew which means Jeff could leave because he's an American citizen, an Australian permanent resident but he couldn't necessarily come back uh, and I couldn't leave so um, they hadn't come through and then Ada got sick, she got like a cold um, then we found out we couldn't get travel insurance or health insurance and so we it was all quite um, stressful, so we decided to cancel and then delay for a couple of days. And then we delayed and then uh, we were ready to go again. And then the news just kept on getting worse with the rates of COVID going up in the States. And yeah, then Australia decided to um, ha like drastically reduce the amount of incoming flights from internationally. So there'd be no guarantee that we'd be able to get back into Australia and if when and so then we were like okay we'll cancel and then we decided maybe we'll move over there but and pack up everything here then we wouldn't have to deal with coming back and then the, also the two-week quarantine on the way back with Ada in a one-bedroom apartment and also the rent we would be paying here while we we're over there and and then this it's just becoming more intense over in the states COVID wise and then the riots in Portland uh yeah, so it's just, it's at the moment we've decided to stay put and just wait it out and see what happens with COVID, um, with COVID in the world and the riots and everything. But it's been a very hard few weeks of decisions and emotions and, and everything else that goes with that. So it's a crazy time at the moment. It's a crazy time. You just, yeah, so uh, that's been quite emotional. Um, New South Wales is doing okay, not as good. She a little bit worried about New South Wales because Victoria is in such a state. They had 723 new cases yesterday. They're lo they've locked down for now the last few couple of weeks. I think they've locked their borders from anyone going in and out. Although maybe not truckies. I think that's why New South Wales started a little cluster was because of a truck driver came through and went to a, a pub and started a cluster out west and then. Anyway, so there's another cluster growing in a east, and we're in a west, so it's not too far away from us. So, yeah, everyone's on high alert again, and just sort of like waiting with a, you know anticipation of like what's going to happen and how's this going to affect everyone. And so hopefully they can keep it under control, but we don't know. So yeah, so it's been a bit. I feel like my breath is like sitting about here, and I can't really take any deep breaths at the moment. It's just all. I think I need to do some meditation. But um, to keep us sort of in, a, we've been trying to keep in a good routine and keep things as normal as possible for Ada and um, just, um, yeah, just keeping, keeping things, just trying to level things out a bit. Um, I did have my um, big online event for Beyond Zero Emissions and they launched their Million Jobs Plan. So Beyond Zero Emissions is an organisation I've been volunteering for. Um, they're a climate change think tank to make Australia zero emissions for the next 10 years. So they launched a plan, a million jobs plan, about how to create new jobs around this and um, what it would look like. So they presented that and we had a 2,000 people registered for it. Uh, 1,000 people turned up on the day, well, online turned up. Uh, we were trending number two on Twitter. Uh, we had some really good, like big key speakers uh, or panelists, um, and then we made um, like news um, and different platforms, and yeah, so that was really positive. That was exciting, and <laughs> um, 
yeah, I felt like that's, yeah, helped contribute a lot to that, so, and learnt a lot too, so that was good. And I'm still working for them on smaller events and other ad hoc things, so I still do about a day and a half for them. Um, if you're going back to the gym, thank God that's open again, and uh, Ada's got the crèche there, and she loves that, and yeah, she's, she's got a few of her little friends who go there as well, um, so that's, that's a fun outing for both of us. Um, yeah, she's uh, still at daycare, because we closed daycare down when we thought we were moving to the States, but then we were able to jump back in, and they've been really flexible with us on what we're deciding to do, so she's still there, loving it, although uh, she did get bitten the other day, like, I, I don't know, I was, on her face, like, big mark on her face, really full on, and what had happened is, a little kid was a boy, going up to her and was holding her hand and giving her hugs and then just went in for a hug and bit her on her face. So she was kind of really freaked out about that. Um, me and Jeff were like even more freaked out I think because it's her daughter, is this devil child biting our daughter. I mean I know that they say it's like really normal and natural and it's better to have a child who's been bitten than the biter but it doesn't feel that way when you're looking at your child and she's got a big bite mark on her face. Um, we were worried that she was going to have some kind of lasting emotional damage from it, like, because I took her to the crèche the next day and she just cried, like, she was just so upset and it kind of felt maybe that was because of that as well. She was just didn't want to be around the other kids and, um, yeah, so anyway, that was a couple of weeks, a few weeks ago now and it's gone off her face and it seems to have not really affected her, so that was good, but that was just another one of those hurdles I think you go through as a, as a parent. <laughs> That old chest nut. <laughs> I have to just go, oh, it's happened and deal with it and just, you know, figure out where that emotion settles with you and let it go after that. I, I, all this learning stuff. <laughs> um, so that happened, but she has um, got so many friends there. I guess maybe it was just like a love bite, love bite. <laughs> but she's got so many friends there because one of her, um, whenever I drop her off, She's all these little kids line up and they're like, Ada, 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 Ada. I think because her name's quite simple to say, they, they all know it. So they all like gather around and like, Ada, welcome her. And then when I pick her up, they're like, Ada, Ada, Ada. And like, your mum's here kind of thing and say goodbye and do lots of waves. And so she's, uh, she thinks she's kind of a popular little girl, which is nice to see. Um, she is saying she's learning words quite, well, she's starting to pronounce words quite fast. Um, now she's saying Ua for Bella. Uh, in this video I'm gonna show this. Um, it's her. She's just she says hello to Bella every morning. So this is kind of cute. And um yeah, so it's ooh ah for Bella, but actually that was filmed about two weeks ago, and now she's this morning, she was saying Bella, Bella, so she's using the B as well, so it's um, soon it will be Bella, I think that might be one of her first words. Um, and she is saying Mama, and I think more definite, like that, that's me, because at daycare, she, they're saying that she, at about, right about the time I pick her up, she is... She stands at the door and she's mama, 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 just waiting for me. So I reckon she's, I think that's a mama, I think. So, um, but yeah, she's, she's, she's getting there quite fast now. Uh, she had her first jump, <laughs> both feet off the ground and it was unintentional and she didn't realize she did it. And so she, when she did it, it took her a while to, a little bit to register that she did it. And then she was running around trying to do it again and getting really excited. Um, she <laughs> and laughing and <laughs> wow, that was almost a jump. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, yes. you felt your feet clear the ground, didn't you? You were flying for a second. Um, it's really cute uh, that she she loves watching that video.
she was just like literally like she just comes up to Jeff and she like grabs his phone and like gives it to him and she wants to watch herself jump again and laugh about it and she's big smile comes on her face when she watches it so um yeah that's that's really sweet too uh, and then because um, all the uh, playgrounds open because they shut down when we were in lockdown for COVID hopefully they stay open because like it's like literally I when Ada's not at daycare, I leave the house with her at like 9.30 in the morning and don't get back till like 1. I pack all of her food and her, anything she needs for the day. We just go. We'll go to different playgrounds and big walks and the park and all the gym and then the crate and, and then the, um, the um, shopping centre if it's raining. So we do all that and um, she, so we go to lots of different playgrounds. And she had her first solo slide the other day. Ada, ready? <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> she was so happy with herself. She uh, was, just, was just ecstatic, and now she's just this slide ninja. So she's <laughs> she's the playground. She's like up, up, running and sliding, running and sliding. So um, yeah, that's really sweet as well. So I'm hoping that I close down again. And she was quite content just to be in the backpack on my back last time, but now she's walking and like running sometimes as well, <laughs> like little legs. She just wants to get moving and um, yeah, to have her not be able to, you know, do that or be restricted on where she goes and not be able to go on the playground would be would be really hard again. So that's that's us for the last few weeks. Uh, just feeling the COVID thing as I mentioned. Um, but I guess we're pretty lucky in comparison to a lot of places in the world. We're in a much dire, where are they in a much dire, more dire state than we are. Yeah, so just, uh, you know, counting our blessings, uh, but also feeling a bit um, anxious and, uh, you know, stuck. <laughs> yeah, basically stuck. And so I guess the you know, majority of the world will be feeling that too, those emotions are going through. So, you know, I hope everyone has had a good few weeks and enjoys the rest of their weekend. And I will speak to you soon. All right. Lots of love. Bye. Mwah.